Genius and Monique. We are from Frontcom, that's a digital agency from Norway. We have offices obviously in Norway, also Portugal, and more recently Poland and Germany. If you want to interact with us on Twitter, use Twitter handle Drupal Gutenberg. And if you feel like multitasking, head to our demo site. Let's talk about the Drupal authoring experience. Whether your site is a marketing site, a nonprofit, e commerce, higher education, we all want a powerful editing experience for our users. We want it to be user friendly. We want to enable our editors to build pages. Drupal is a solid CMS framework. However, the editing experience has some issues still. It's not always intuitive. It sometimes lacks the true whistle experience, even using the latest and greatest tools. These days, people expect the CMS to be both highly useful Flexible, powerful, easy to learn. Now there's some serious competition going on in this area. Now, what if we could combine the technical elegance of Drupal with a unified, nice, and easy editing experience? What if Drupal's perhaps weakest spot? could become the feature you are most happy to demo in a sales meeting. Now this is why we are introducing Gutenberg for Drupal. Quick background. <clears throat> Gutenberg is originally a WordPress CMS plugin. It's open source. Some like it, others don't. <laughs> <laughs> now, as reflected in this plugin, plugin readings on WordPress.org, Gutenberg means a huge change for the WordPress community. And it sure is a huge threat to the existing country page builders in WordPress. Anyways, Gutenberg is going into core this fall, into WordPress core this fall. Now what we did is that we basically stripped away the WordPress PHP and created a standalone React application. It's pure React. On top of that, we built a standard Drupal module using Gutenberg JS as a library. We just recently released an alpha version. It's installable, but not production ready. Still, let's test it. Help us out. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Fernando. So, of course, first thing to do is to download and install the Gutenberg uh, uh, module, the full module. And then you will have to add the editor to any content type uh, for this demo. I'll We'll add it to the basic page content type. So let's try it out. Okay, here we are at the content admin page. Let's add some content. Okay, welcome to Gutenberg Editing Experience. Uh, it's empty. For now, we have this, uh, the node settings that uh, you usually see on the regular node edit page. Things like revision mode message, uh, menu, menu settings, and so on. And then you have all this area for what it matter, the content. Let's start using uh, Gutenberg. 
as any other editor, like a CK editor, by just typing. Okay. Basically, what happened here is that a new paragraph block was created. You have things like uh, the normal options for the which text edit. And then at the sidebar, you have these settings like text setting to control the size and color settings. Okay, every block has their unique uh, sidebar settings. But each block has also some common options, like uh, adding the settings, duplicate, insert before, after, edit HTML, remove, and this nice feature here, add to reusable blocks. This feature allows you to save any block with its current settings and content, and reuse it. Let's try it. Is to give it its name. Sorry. And save. And to reuse it, you just have to find it here. Reusable with a nice preview. No. There. You can also change the settings on this particular. Usable block, like I will change the background color. Hit save, bam, replicates across all usable blocks of that type. Okay, another cool feature on Gutenberg is that all blocks are searchable inline using the forward slash. So, you just need to type forward slash, you can search, and there it is. Yeah, I really love this feature. Okay. Uh, let's check out uh, other uh, Gutenberg core blocks. Uh, I'll just add here. Just like to use the inline search. So, for example, the cover image. Okay, just need to upload. You can also drag and drop from your local computer. From the file browser. Just write no soon. Also set full. There's also some cool settings here, like fixed background by the diagonal distance. Yeah, the parallax effect. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, clear the box to show you some cool stuff. Uh, you can uh, remove the, these blocks, for example, instead of uh, just clicking remove, clicking remove, clicking remove, you can just backspace and there. Let me show you some, uh, uh, Gutenberg also comes with some uh, layout blocks. Gutenberg work well. <laughs> it's not ours. <laughs> they still work in part. Okay. And what I will try to add here will be a. Let's try to add a. 
to be. What's even cooler is that uh, the module the module is built so that uh, all Drupal 8 blocks uh, are automatically exposed to Gutenberg. So if we had a block here, you can see oh yeah, all Drupal blocks and even your custom blocks will So let's add the, the requirements uh, powered by Drupal. There it is. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you can imagine what you can build with the uh, views and Gutenberg working together. Right. Yeah, we are very excited about this. And, uh, we really believe that it's a killer application uh, Drupal blocks need. Thank you. A Gutenberg to us is much more than just another module. We think of it as a platform for brand new features. We're very excited about the sharing aspect here community aspects and the possibilities here. We want to make it easy to share and reuse your custom blocks across pages, across projects, across companies, and even across publishing platforms. Now, Drupal has always been great at sharing back-end style of code. Now, let's make it great at sharing front-end code as well. This is why we're working on a block managing system. We call it Gutenberg Cloud. It's your library of blocks online. A Gutenberg Cloud is a content repository for custom Gutenberg blocks. It could be your neatly designed form, a cool call to action section, a product grid or an e-commerce site, or even a web component. Now imagine a browsing experience inside Drupal, where you can discover and download blocks on go. The UI will enable you to browse around, filter, install, enable, and you actually save them locally and make them available in the Gutenberg editor. This prevents the need to create a new Drupal module for each new block, or those random block collection modules. So we avoid, avoid the bloat. This is not released yet. This is a proof of concept, but let's have a look more. Yeah, sure. Try to be quick. <laughs> okay, so any developer can add their own blocks uh, to Gutenberg Cloud by putting code on npm and tag it as Gutenberg Cloud or Gutenberg Python Cloud. Since the blocks are JavaScript only, they work across Drupal and WordPress alike. Yeah, this is really exciting. You can now build a front end for Drupal and WordPress at the same time.
Okay. So um, let's use uh, the Bilderberg Cloud and check out a new model uh, we submitted to NVM, uh, the Euro section. As you can see, now the Euro section uh, appears on the block list, so we can add it to the page. Blocks can be configured, configured uh, to come with default contents and settings uh, to make it easy to build nice looking sites. And then you can just play with the settings, for example. And basically, this is just a combination of uh, Gutenberg or blocks like heading or paragraph, an image, and a button. Okay. It's really easy, very easy to use, and uh, And it looks really nice. Now we envision a growing library online with CMS agnostic front-end blocks. They're only HTML, JavaScript, and CSS anyways. You code it once, you reuse them on multiple platforms. It's as good as it sounds, but it's launching later this year. For us, front home as a triple shop, Gutenberg means new business. It means happier clients, especially the marketing department. It also means better and more code reuse and sharing. All thanks to open source. Now, if you like what you see, uh, please go and test it on drupalgutenberg.org. Be sure to follow our Twitter account. And most important, please come to our BOF immediately after the session. It's going on in room Titanium 204. So, thank you so much. Hope you like it. <laughs>